Hey everybody, I'm here to um, be better this time. Classic NL says he's here to be better, buys two pill bugs, whatever, dude. I'm sniffing buttocks. Should I relent or should I just keep sniffing buttocks? You know who that is? That's, I'm, I don't even need to say it. I think it's the wickedly talented Adele Dazeem. I'm taking you for level-based reasons. We're mixing it up a little. We're going to create a, a, a slightly tanky seahorse. Which, now that I think about it, doesn't make that much sense. An iguana would make a lot more sense. And we are going to lose. But it, uh, again, round one, round two. It's shops. It's all up to the shops, okay? We don't have complete control over that. I'm going to go insano mode. I'm going to get... I, I Early melon armor. How do you counter that? A lot of people will tell you maybe by having a unit that's not like pure garbage. Okay, maybe there's some truth to that. Maybe maybe there is some truth to that, okay? I, uh, that's pretty true, as many people would say. But we also got an early peacock, which is actually going to be like the meat and potatoes of what makes this run function. And I can already smell 10 wins. You blew up your whole team. Can I ask you why? You had so much to live for. It's just a little... I, I thought we were playing a, a game where everyone has a fun time. I wanted to see a croissant, to be honest. But it's, it's only recently dawned on me that uh, apparently we're playing a game where we're trying to entertain people. Like, who? An observer? Really? Show me. Is the observer in the room with us right now? Not my iguana. Your iguana. Not my iguana. Your iguana. What do we want to see? We're already doing great. If we see a leech, we're off to the races. So you start with the peacock. I think a praying mantis could do numbers here, but let's start with this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna buy the mantis. I don't mind you killing the seahorse. As far as I'm concerned, like you're, you're making space for us for the future. So I said we were doing great. I thought we had more than two wins in the first four, but, but here we are. Okay, big snipes. I'm, I'm very happy we have a level two iguana on the team, honestly. This is gonna make that that much more satisfying. The mantis is a great scaler. I am well. It scales itself, which is the most important element there, at least. To be honest with you, I think you would do great here. If you want to give yourself melon armor while getting buff a little in the process, then by all means, don't let me stop you. We still don't have the leech we're looking for, but you know what? We we've, we've changed the terms of the deal, and you best pray we don't change them anymore. Darth Vader. One of business lessons from the Empire. A Darth Vader managerial handbook. That could pop. That would be one of the all-time bestsellers at Urban Outfitters for sure. Give me my melon armor. We were hoping to kind of see like a blobfish, but you know what? For the time being, I think this is actually a surprisingly good investment. You could do worse than this, but you could definitely do better. I can't kill the crow is the thing. So I have to throw something out here that is killable. But a level two man. Oh, the leech is literally sitting right there. You could have killed the iguana. That would have, would have been fine. No, no. Yeah, I'm getting smoked, man. Okay, that was completely my own fault. There, they, the leech is, there is no such thing as too late. That was complete tunnel vision. Sure. I'm not even going to sell you. Yes, I am going to sell you. The reason I'm going to sell you is because I need to replace you with something. We got something right there. I don't mind it at all. Now, the pill bug has got to go, man. It's just such an insult. This four or five melon armor. It's not going to be nearly as good as you, you think it will be. As you can see, we're, we deserve this. I've done it to myself. That's the worst part. We're on, we must be on lethal now. But it doesn't matter. Like, we... You die. You buff. I'm annoyed. Maybe you don't have to go yet. We need the buffs. We need a leech, man. We need a leech. Sell me. Buy me. 
Buff me. Buff me. We don't need this iguana anymore. I can't. I, I, have, I, have to, I have to run with the squad. I have to dance with the one that brought me. That being said, obviously the pill bug is gone and the iguana are gone. We just need to get like walruses, triceratopses, et cetera, et cetera. And then we can, I, I have 100%, 50% faith in this team. I don't believe that we're going to do it, but I believe that in 50% of the simulations, Monte Carlo style, we would do it, okay? So just, it's gonna take a little finesse, but look, our mantis is popping. I know I said we needed a Triceratops, but now I'm like, I don't trust you. <laughs> you don't do what I need you to do. You have to join the squad. I do not mind killing an iguana. Pillbug at least has the melon armor, sure. Blobfish is also a great killable. Monkey, it is a, it's a small buff, but it's a buff, man. It's a buff no, nonetheless. The buff you get out of that leech is, is absurd. It's incredible. I'm not sweating it. Not sweating it. I think you just... You saved the dang day for me, man. You saved the day for me. Look at that. Thanks for the shuffle. So you're saying there's a chance. The iguana's officially gone. We know you're gone. It's just a matter of what we're gonna... What we're gonna place there. The leech is not here to scale. We don't need to invest in it. Let's learn something, okay? We don't necessarily... Well, I guess we would like a level 3 peacock. I think you could sell. And then, honestly, a quick pizza. Don't hit the blob. Don't debase yourself by hitting the blobfish, okay? I'm going to mix it up slightly. I want the blobfish to make a level 3 peacock for us. That, mostly because that means we can get rid of our leech a little bit faster. Because the leech is just here to trigger the peacock. Which is why it would have been so much better to knock that out like a lot earlier. <laughs> instead of when we did it right now. Which was idiotic. But this still looks okay. I'm telling you. It's never... Whether you believe it's over or not. You're right. That takes us to 7. Now we can move you back. And honestly, if we're keeping a croc for a minute, go ahead and take a steak. Just make yourself useful. Chocolate's always good, but... But what if it wasn't? Freeze me. Anything worth killing here? Four, three, two, five. Honestly, guess what? Welcome. What's the big idea here? Well... The peacock, or the, the poodle's at least giving everybody a buff before they go down. Now we need a lollipop as well, and then we can sell this leech. What an, what an insane and incredible series of shots. You got, you got lethality? I'm dead. I believe it's over. Therefore, I'm right. Okay, but that was... We had... If we didn't overroll that leech, I'm telling you, if we didn't overroll that leech, man, we'd be off to the freaking races, okay? You gotta stay frozen. I'm realizing a little bit here. Let's be a subtle ball. I don't wanna be a subtle writer. I know writers who use subtext and every single one of them are cowards. What we're looking for here is er early iguanas go hard, early ants go hard, early horses can do something for you. I think we would love to... Just have, like, this set up for now. And then run the iguanas just in case we go up against, like, a super cricket build or something. And I gotta... I deserve a round of applause, quite frankly, because we have protected ourselves from running pill bugs. And that's something... It was a very hard habit for me to break. I believe we draw this. And that's okay. We got levels coming. I'm feeling good about this team. Level me. Puppy me. Take an immediate croissant. Why immediate croissant? Because it annoys people when I say it. It's funny, right? Like, do you ever realize how messed up society is? If I say we went out for faux yesterday, everybody says, what an uncultured idiot. He doesn't know it's pronounced pho. But when I say, oh, can I have an almond, almond, a croissant d'almond? 
they go, get out of my store. This is Tim Hortons. We don't sell almond croissants. I'm just saying, I don't understand everyone with pho. They're like, they want to be sticklers for the pronunciation in the regional dialect. But then when it comes to uh, croissants, they think you're being a snob when you say it that way. A little messed up, a little bit of a double standard. Many people are saying this. Anyway, what, I forgot what I was talking about. I love a croissant, though. Both in the game and in IRL. I am being just completely eviscerated. I'm being dominated. But we're still two away from lethal, which is fine by my standards. Just make sure you're, you're handling yourself appropriately. It's very important. I know we're running four squatted. Freeze me as a just-in-case. Leech is amazing, but it, it really has to be Leech Peacock, okay? This puppy, it hits level three, it goes off. The, you saw what the woodpecker can do. The woodpecker, if it hits level two, can, can start doing some real damage. My god, I, I didn't want to jinx it. I think we're actually going to win a round. Now... We don't need this. I think we need this. I think we love the idea of this. And then, no, don't even, don't get me started on the tamarind, man, okay? Hey, Mr. Emperor Tamarind, man. Play, you, you know Bob Dylan? You heard of this guy? He recently went electric at the Newport Folk Festival. What's happening? We're winning. That's what's happening. Love to see that. Two wins. We're at, we're at three wins. Three wins. Okay. So horse and iguana both have to go. I think iguana goes first. I'll spend to the cap co for convenience. I will absolutely buy this in all circumstances. There's no skunk in this pack, so I think we're kind of... We're, we're pogging up. Thusly. We have a blobfish for later. The blobfish is basically just to create a level two woodpecker, which seems to, I mean, every time I've been up against it, I've been like, man, I wish I had one of those working in my favor. Acceptable. This is fine. It, seasons change on the weekly, but the one thing we've learned never changes is a, a turn three puppy, always good. It just is what it is. It's, it's a unit that's designed to be powerful. You're gone. You're coming in. Puppy would miss 4-4 four, four on this. Okay, I think, I think we freeze this. We freeze this. Don't freeze the other blobfish. I know that this looks like the perfect team to put a mantis on as well, but... Haters will say this team only has one unit, okay? The haters, as they so often are, would be correct in this situation, I think. It's fair to say. <laughs> but I, even though we're only on four wins, we got such great optics moving forward. Like, you get pilled. Beautiful. A taper. Not that interesting. We need one more unit. This is not necessarily, like, my favorite unit to buff, but that's okay. And we'll probably try to throw a little uh, a little garlic on our woodpecker. It's a 10-10 at the start of turn 10. We got, we got some progress we need to make there. Although we are going to two for one when one of the ones was a snail. So there's, there's something to like there. I'm telling you, I think this team... We, we have to face no teams better than us. That's my key, the, my tail of the tape. But I think this team can actually do it. I think it can go somewhere. The puppy is going to be maxed soon. So let's focus on the unit with the garlic. We can take one more unit. I don't wish to shuffle any of our unit stats or anything of the ilk. Let's freeze this son of a gun. A level two monkey would hit this spot. But for now, just buy one of these. Have you... I don't know. I guess we're going to make a cool mole. <laughs> a mole with melon armor. Just in temporarium, Jonathan. In temporarium. Oh, no. We played right into their hands. Look at that. Just what they've always wanted. A super big blobfish. 
we've done it. Okay. I told you, I told you puppy can do it. We're really looking for these big tier sixes, like a, a walrus. Sell me, no matter what. Two of these? Or would we rather have a unit? I think we'd rather have a unit first, but we'll lose the chocolate if we take a cow. That's a tough, tough equation for us to deal with. A lion would be a 9-9. Nine, nine. It's tempting. I don't think we're going lioness. I, I honestly think a sniper might be what just what the doctor ordered here. We go level 2 monkey, hopefully in a, like a walrus next turn, and then it's off to the freaking races, man. They got a super? They got a super one? That's not, I didn't know you could put a pineapple on that. It makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Though, whatever, get on. Superior gaming skill. Superior gaming skill. Buff me. Walrus. And you got to think about how you're popping this walrus down. And in fact, I think you don't go walrus. Just because walrus kind of cannibalizes turtle. Unless you put it after the turtle. But then it has to go like here, which is not like a perfect positioning for it. But <laughs> okay, keep me and maybe put a one up on it. And then the death touch will probably override melon, but maybe that's OK. It's an interesting team. I, I see great minds think alike. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I can't, I can't get over the hump, man. I'm t I, seven wins. I'm not disappointed necessarily, but I'm telling you, when I was streaming today, and you, you like, oh, now, Lord help me, I'm going back to the old me. Um, it would be like an untouched sardine. It happens all the time. That's why I always get my pizza with sardines on it. It means you always got an extra slice. But if you go back to the stream VOD from today, I hit 10 wins so often and so frequently that I got embarrassed, so I stopped taking Peacock and Leech because the 10 wins were flowing so freely that it was like, I was worried people were going to start to cyber bully me, honestly. I was worried that they were going to, they were going to like come to my house and be like, knock, knock, is this the home of the world's biggest coward and stuff like that. So. Maybe it's, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to go back to the old me. That Was that a sign from above? My light got stronger. Look, you have to. So I'm going to start with the obvious. I hate this team. <laughs> like, a lot. But we're now in Peacock Leech territory. So my new strat is just survive until you get a Peacock. And then once you get a Peacock, buff it until you get a Leech. And don't roll past the Leech, ever. Now you guys are cheap, but garbage. Not that interested. Obviously, we could get rid of a snail. We just want to make sure we're doing it at the right time. I think this might be the right time. Honestly, you raised my chances of getting a Peacock here. You did not give me a peacock, and I'll never forget that. But that's okay. We could get a cheap tamarind. Not interested. Not interested. I remain uninterested. So whatever units pop up are going to be much cheaper. It'd be a great time to get, hypothetically, like what about a peacock plus a leech? I'm just throwing that out there as a possibility. Holy cow. We're going up against uh, somebody that we can actually take out. I can't believe it. We win by one goldfish. Cheap units on the left. I mean, a one-cost ant? Sure. A leveled-up goldfish? Sure. A scaling team? It's a bit weird, don't get me wrong, but... Family's family, man. What I would really love, I would love to sell our pill bug for a second penguin. That would hit the spot more than anything's ever hit the spot in Earth's history. Holy cow, I feel powerful again. We're, we're defeating golden poops. We got insanely cheap units on the left. 
you're you're an insanely cheap unit. You're a leech, but we don't need you because we don't have a peacock. But you never roll past the leech. Hold on. For now, get out of here. Get into here. My thoughts exactly. I'm taking a different tact. Not yet. Man, you could cost one next turn, though. You know what? Nah, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, just go out there. <laughs> just go out there and do something. And then, again, we'll have one cost units popping out that will be better for us. Because there'll be a tier up. Okay, whatever. Shoot me. See if I care. We're definitely losing this one. And all I can say about that is fair, fair. That's pretty fair. But I think that we're like one chocolate away from this run really popping. Now, I see that we have a peacock. I definitely think it actually is, is playable. So just stay here. Stay frozen because you're going to be so freaking cheap. You stay frozen too. I'm really looking for a pill. I got too many things on my mind right now. <laughs> okay. okay, you do double damage once. I'm, we're going to probably sell the beetle, create a level 2 peacock so it scales, or do we create a level 2 penguin so everything scales faster? Yeah, yeah. Basically, I mean, I'm, let me hit you with the obvious. The tech right now is don't die. If we can do that, we're probably okay. Buy me. Keep the goldfish popping. Buff the penguin. Crocodile is very playable. Garlic is very playable. Leech. No leech. Second penguin, level 2 peacock. For now, level 2 peacock so it gets the buff. Freeze me, freeze me. I know we're four squatted and I'll tell you, I don't care. Two you Oh, we should have unfrozen the crocodile. We would have gotten such a bargain, man. Don't shoot my peacock to death, okay? We can draw these. And that's we go in these. We're doing it a little different than anyone's ever done it before, kind of. But now I hate that you're one gold. Because it would have been much better off to do it the uh, but alas, what can you say? You know? Buy me? Sell me? You're uh, you no, know, the peacock needs the buff. Are you stupid? Like what are you doing? Obviously the peacock needs the buff. Why did you even think about it? Okay, okay, okay. Now guess what? Now we got a leech out here. Next thing we need, lollipops. And all of a sudden, we're getting a, a peacock that's getting basically seven stat points per turn for a low, low cost of absolutely nothing. And that we're still going to lose this round, which is unfathomable to me. No, we're not. We're going to win. I had no faith in myself. And yet here we are. Now, I want to be honest with you. It doesn't matter that our leech is not getting strong because all it's here to do is buff the peacock so i actually think it's an interesting tech to just keep two good units frozen i don't think we need you i i mean calling the goldfish a good unit might be a little stretch but why don't we spend our money because next turn I think this is fine. Next turn will be so... Th we, I guess uh, the mental model I'm creating for myself right now. We should not be afraid to overspend on food, like upgrading a garlic to a lemon, because we're going to underspend on all of our shop units. So we're probably going to overspend a little bit on rolls, but we're going we're gonna to overspend on food. But the idea, at least, is we're going to try to heavily underspend on the, uh, on the actual units. Now, we need to live to make that happen. But I believe in it. That's one gold. This is one gold. This is three. This is three. But that's okay. You're going to be one next turn. You're going to level up next. Please let there be a next turn. You're not going to be one. You're going to be one. You, we, this is fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Why won't you believe me? <laughs> it's going to be fine. I'm telling you, man. This this team is, is going to coast on autopilot probably. Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't believe it. 
I don't know what to say. I've never, I've never seen a moth do that before. I've never seen a moth go that hard. Six wins. Well, I can't believe I'm doing this again. It is what it is. We're going to crack the Da Vinci Code, okay? Dan Brown. Angels and Demons. Tom Hanks. Audrey Tattoo. Paul Bedney. I can't remember the fourth star, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go cry, and I'll see you next time. See ya.